Hi, my name is Dallin. Welcome to the channel where I talk about how to succeed as a pre-med and as a med student. Today I wanted to talk about my dedicated study period for step one. Now, for those of you who don't know, most medical schools give a dedicated amount of time for their students to only study for USMLE Step 1. And when I mean dedicated, I mean you are 100% dedicated. Me personally, I was studying up to 16 hours a day. Now, I don't want to freak anybody out. This is just what worked for me. Now, that being said, I thought I was going to be able to knock out my whole Anki Dex in one week. I, I mean, I think I did that for the MCAT. So, I, my my thought was is it was going to be a similar test to the MCAT. I was wrong. I mean, I thought I was going to be able to do three MBMEs a week and review them. Wrong. Uh, I thought that I was going to be able to spend my last two weeks in Europe. Wrong again. So, well, I had all these grandiose plans of how I was going to spend my study period. It ended up changing drastically. And I will go ahead and show you guys what my dedicated actually looked like. So my original study plan I came up with uh, between my first and second year, I thought I could study similar to how I studied for the MCAT. Uh, and so what I wanted to do is I wanted to first review all of my Anki cards. Uh, before I even started practice exams, I had already done all the material for the MCAT. I thought I could do the same for step one. So I looked at all my decks and I had about 7,500 cards. So I thought, okay, if I do 1,100 cards per day, that will get me through the first week easy. And that's how I would spend week one. And I forgot to mention I had seven weeks for dedicated. I planned on only using five. So after that, uh, I would, for weeks two through five, I was going to re just review the decks as they um, were scheduled. So however many cards that day was, that's what I would do. Um, I would also be taking three MBMEs per week. I think there was around nine that I could have taken at the time. Uh, to supplement that, I was going to do the two U-World Sims, and then I would do a seven 40-question U-World blocks, or seven 40-question U-World blocks to simulate uh, a 12th exam. Now, I also wanted to finish U-World, which I had around 1,840 questions left. This meant that I was going to do 40 on non-NBME days and 80 on NBME days to simulate a full-length exam. For the Sims, there are only uh, four 40-question blocks, so that meant I would do three, so 120, and then obviously on my seven 40-question um, block day, I would have done seven. And that ended up totaling around 1,900. Now, I was gonna score 250 plus on step one, and then I was gonna go on vacation visit some family heritage sites in, in Spain. Unfortunately, this plan was garbage. I quickly realized my plan wasn't gonna work as I started studying my Anki decks. Um, I ended up choosing to study organ systems that I had struggled with in first and second year most. Uh, for me, that was my MSK, my anatomy unit, unit as well as heme, uh, heme onc. Uh, so I ended up starting out with those. That total to about 1,200 questions. So I figured, okay, if I can knock these out today, which was a Saturday, I'll be right on track. In fact, I'll be a little bit ahead of where I wanted to be. I barely made it through, I think, 600 questions. So at this point, I was like, oh, geez, man, I'm going to have to double the time that I need to study just my Anki cards. I might be in real, real trouble here. And so at this point, I decided to redo my study plan. So here's the actual look of my calendar and how it looked. Uh, so as you can see, I started out with my MSK and Heme Onk, and then uh, I ended up spending that whole first weekend of studying just going through those cards. So that Monday, I thought, okay, well, I'm going to go through every single organ system, all of my Anki decks first. I'm going to keep going with that plan, but I'm not going to review anything. I'm just going to go through it first pass, and then I'll be good to go. I did that for one day. And then I realized the second day when some of those questions were coming back just naturally from how I had set up my deck that I hadn't remembered anything. I had wasted a whole three days because I couldn't remember anything from what I had studied the three days previous. So at this point, I realized, geez, I need to completely change my study schedule. So that was, that was about four days in. So I will go ahead and show you guys one of the days so what I ended up doing is I'd get up at 6 a.m. every day and I would start by studying a new Anki deck. So whether that was I was in cards or in neuro, um, I would end up studying that deck. 
So I'll, I'll do a, I'll step back for a second. Um, the order that I studied the organ systems was as follow. I started out with the heme and MSK because that's where I struggled the most. I then went to the highest yield, which was cards and neuro. I then did GI, renal, followed by endocrine, repro, and um, respiratory. I then saved to some of those lower yield, but there were still questions on them like biochem, uh, my, uh, microbiology, um, the path, the farm, as well as the um, public health sciences and the ethics. I saved those for the end. Um, but that was the order that I studied those questions in. So in the mornings, what I would do is I started out studying, let's say, cards. And so I would do as many new cards questions until around 7.45. I took a 15 minute break and then I would do 40 UWorld questions. Now I went and I started my UWorld questions at 8 a.m. because I wanted to simulate me taking an exam at 8 a.m. because that's when every USMLE step one day starts. So I started 8 a.m. Uh, I would do the 40 questions and then I would review them, which usually took about an hour. I would make note cards of everything that I didn't understand. Uh, so, if, and then I would put them in their uh, their pr appropriate deck. So if it was a biochem question I missed, it went into a UWorld bio, uh, biochem deck. If it was a cards question, I would put it in a UWorld cards deck. And I would then study it with the rest of those card sections. Now, when I would do UWorld questions, I did them randomly. So even though I was studying in blocks of information, I did UWorld randomly. And I did that on purpose because I knew that step one was going to be random. It didn't have a card section and then a neuro section, then an endocrine section. So even though I was studying those sections, uh, blocking them together because that's what worked for me, I wasn't actually doing UWorld that way. I was doing UWorld completely random. Uh, I would then continue to use these next two hour and a half blocks with 15 minute breaks in between to study new Anki cards. Now that switched at 1.30. At 1.30, I dedicated that entire time to review. So however many questions I got through, if it was only 300, it was only 300. Uh, but I stopped there. No matter how much I wanted to get through that day, I, I did it based on time instead of cards. And I think this actually alleviated a lot of my stress um, and made it easier for me to get through what I needed to each day. Um, at 1.45, I ended up starting to review. At four o'clock every single day, no matter how far I'd gotten, I took a break, took a 30 minutes to work out. Typically that meant a run because 30 minutes to lift wasn't enough for me, so I would just go on a run for 30 minutes every day. Uh, and then I would start my hour and a half blocks again, and these were all just reviewing past material. So this day being March 13th, this meant that I was probably reviewing cards and MSK until 10 o'clock at night. Now at 10, I was done. And I would shower and prep for bed. For me, prepping for bed, I usually, sometimes I would watch TV um, in med school, but here I was on my phone doing Anki decks all day long, uh, and I wanted to, a break from electronics. So I would either read a book, I would either talk to my family, um, or meditate. And that actually helped me sleep each night as well. Um, so I was only getting around seven hours of sleep, studying for nearly 16 hours a day. And I know that it is a lot, but it ended up working for me because I had a lot of material that I needed to get through because I wasn't as proactive during my first and second year. All right, now let's go ahead and look at what a week looked like for me. So this is that first week. I was still only doing 40 UWorld questions a day. As you can see, this is pretty much every day was the same. Uh, on that Sunday, I ended up taking a SIM one. Uh, I scored pretty well. I got a 252. I was happy with that, but I then looked up and Turns out it overestimates, so uh, that kind of burst my bubble a little bit. Um, and then on the 22nd, which was two weeks into my study, I took Form 17. And I got a 238, which was still above average, but not where I wanted to be scoring. Um, so I ended up doing my 80 questions at the end. Uh, I ended up reviewing the exam, working out and doing all those things. And then that Sunday, I started doing something with, called a weekly reflection. And I took this time on Sundays uh, at 6 a.m. I would take 30 minutes to see how I was doing. Was I going to reach my um, Anki review 
um, goals? Was I going to, to finish U World? Was I scoring where I needed to? Um, what were things that I was doing wrong? What, is there a specific subject that I need to study more because I'm missing it consistently? So that meant going through U World, going through MBMEs and seeing or is there um, specific study areas that I'm struggling in? Or is there times that I'm struggling in? Um, are my last sections worse than my first? Um, am I getting fatigued? Those sort of things. That's what I would do on Sundays. So that Sunday, I, that was like the first time I did it. I didn't really change much. Um, I ended up taking the Form 18 on the 29th and I got a 248. And I remember looking on Reddit and I think this was one of the easier exams. Most people scored lower than that. And that is when I started getting worried. I started freaking out a little bit. Um, in fact, on that Sunday, I decided to cancel my vacation, which I know doesn't sound that sad to you guys because everyone's had to cancel their vacations but for me it was like dang i haven't taken a day off since i started med school so uh that sucked um but i won't complain because like i said all of you have probably had to cancel your vacations at this point uh it was this sunday as well that i realized i wasn't going to hit my goal to finish u world before i took step one ideally i would i wanted to do two passes but i wasn't even going to get one at the rate i was going so i upped um, my review to 80 questions a day and that's what this week's these weeks looked like on that day I also decided I wanted to get through all of the Anki material period I wanted to have a good first pass I was still gonna review I was still was only gonna do new cards in the morning and review in the afternoon so that way I wasn't losing anything all that hard earned learning I didn't want to lose any of it so I started doing only new cards in the morning and then in the afternoon but I stopped taking NBMEs at this point it wouldn't be until um, April 13th that I would take an NBME uh, after having gone through all of the Anki material and I actually did six points worse. I got a 242, I was crushed. Uh, I, I seriously, for an hour, I was so frustrated. And then I frantically searched Reddit to see if they could do any better and then I reviewed the exam and after, after calming down. Um, at that point, I started doing more and more MBMEs because I was already done with all my Anki cards. So on the 18th, I took uh, Form 22, got a 250, and then this one I did review a little bit differently. Um, I ended up reviewing it with a friend, which is why I didn't take uh, U World questions afterwards. Um, Form 21, I didn't do it because I was so angry at myself. And Form 22, I didn't do it because I wanted to review it with a friend. Now this, I did take a huge chunk of time. It was time intensive. Um, what we would do is any question we had marked or got wrong, we would read the question together and then reason through every single answer, why it was right or why it was wrong. And then we would ask the other person if that's what they, the reasoning that they had took. And because he was at a different medical school, I ended up learning a ton throughout this review. In fact, to this day, I can still remember some of the questions because that's how well it stuck. Um, just talking through it with him. So I suggest that anyone who's going through USMLE step two, or step one, um, do this with a friend or a colleague. And then my final week was a little more chaotic. I ended up finishing UWorld on the 19th, um, and then I took Sim 2, I got a 267, and then um, right before I took the exam on the 23rd, um, I took another MBME, which I got a 265 on ecstatic. The day before, or I mean that two days before, this was two days before my exam, because I took it on the 25th, um, I ended up that evening quitting around 7.30 or 8 because I wanted to go to bed early. Now, it's not the night before that affects your next day of activity, it's the two nights before. So if you want to perform well on a test, make sure that you're sleeping and not cramming two nights before, not the night before. So that's why I wanted to go to bed early that night. And then the next day I just reviewed the Anki cards that I needed to on my schedule and I ended up finishing around 3 p.m took the rest of that afternoon off. I think I went out to eat with my family. And then on the 25th, I went to that Prometric Center and took my exam. Now, after I had finished my exam, I felt terrible. I mean, I thought I did terrible. I mean, it's like, I knew I passed, but I had no idea how well I did. The first five sections, I knew I did very well on. But then the last two, I struggled. I probably marked half of the questions. And I was like, you know what? I guess I'm not gonna do ophthalmology. Um, and you know, it was really, it was really tough, but then when I actually finally got my score, it was a huge relief. So I just want to let you know, after you take the exam, if you feel terrible, 
just wait. Just just calm calm your calm yourself down. However that is, whether that's meditation, hanging out with family, friends, calling somebody, distract yourself from that feeling because you probably did better than what you thought. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. If you thought the video was useful, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. And if you would like more information, more detail, or if you'd like me to look at your dedicated study plan, uh, go ahead and email me at medicine4muggles at gmail.com. And if you haven't checked out any of my other videos, why don't you go ahead and check out how I did on USMLE step one here, or check out how um, I did on my practice exams here.